Welcome to Middle's Whitetail. It's August 19th and Avery and I have made it back up to Acorn Ridge uh, with the goal of putting this food plot in here behind us. Uh, we're a little later than we uh, would typically like to be. Nonetheless, we got up here. We sprayed it back in July. We came back Monday. I believe we had a rain in the forecast. We expect to come up here and be able to burn it off. I think we got here a tad too late and rain had beat us a little bit and it was just a tad, uh, had too much moisture and it wouldn't burn. So we came back today, we got rain in the forecast for tonight, we brought the tractor and tiller uh, just as a backup plan in case we needed to get to use it. We were hoping to be able to burn it first and then maybe till it up, but it still wouldn't burn. So we uh, had to take multiple trips across it with the tiller, had a few issues with the tiller that we weren't expecting, but nonetheless we were able to, to get a good seed bed. Right as we started to sow it, the rain started coming down, couldn't get perfect timing. I think that happened to us last year. Uh, had rain coming down right as we were sowing the plot. Uh, we got some turnips and radishes in, some renovations we did to this this uh, food plot. We had five trees here behind me that we cut out to try to open up this canopy. I think it's gonna work out pretty well. We got a lot more sunlight coming down here and touching the, touching the ground. We should be able to almost double the size of this plot if all things uh, go well here. We got another uh, crook hopefully gonna be showing back up this fall. That's gonna be our number one hit lister and we're excited to see what he turned into this year. Uh, we're expecting to be, uh, I think he should be five and a half this year based on what we uh, seen last year on trail camera pictures. We're excited. We had a good track record here with 305 being killed just south of this plot here. We're excited to get in here and chase November. Well, it's finally here, um, September 16th. Missouri's archery season opened yesterday, but I was staying away and waiting for a particular buck to show his face again. I had him on the cutty back all summer long and then when you know he disappeared on the 6th and I figured he moved into his fall range and I was just gonna wait till the next cold front and hope he showed up but um, my phone blew up last night and I saw, saw him on the camera so whenever I get pictures of him where my camera's at I know he's going to bed in this little thicket it's just kind of along the edge of the corn there. There's a fence row and a pond and he's got everything he needs right there. So he's not he's not gonna be going anywhere today. So I figured I'd get in there and try to catch him coming out this evening. He usually uh, walks by right at dark. So he went in this morning about, I think it was like 2.45 or almost three. So I'm thinking he'll be ready to get out about 7:30, so we'll see if the game plan comes together tonight but it's a real real nice looking deer huge frame just super excited about them so got about an hour and 15 minute drive to uh to get there so i had to make sure all the stars aligned i had to make sure he showed up on the camera in the morning that'll tell me he'll be there in the evening and then i had to make sure i have a a southeast wind and that's what I got so it's about 80 degrees dropping be about 75 by tonight so I'm feeling good so, we'll see if I can get it done The way I'm set up on this buck, I've got a camera on both ends of this little finger and I know he's bedded at that point. So he never shows his face on the other camera, which means he's still in here. I'm getting excited. It's about 6.45. I don't imagine he'll come out till last light. That's what he does every time I get a trail camera picture of him. So I just hope I can come contain myself when he steps out because he's a big buck. It's been real quiet. Absolutely nothing has moved. But it's, it's the spot where he comes out at, so he's the only deer I care about. He's got to be coming out soon. I 
think I just smoked them. I hit record and I just let him slowly walk in and he was acting like he was gonna turn around and booger off so I could not hold it any longer. I, I could barely see my pins and I just let him have it and he just bolted into the timber so it's getting dark. I'm gonna pack down and collect myself so I'm gonna go down and check out the arrow now. Well, it's the next morning. It started raining on us, so I had to get out of there as quick as I could. It's still raining now. The weather's not gonna let up, so this is the best we're gonna get as far as an interview with him. He came out at last light, and I just let him have it, so I couldn't be more excited. Just an awesome deer. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail. Well, guys, welcome to the Midwest Whitetail Great Plains Show. Today I'm doing something that I don't get to do very often. Uh, I'm walking a new permission property that I just gained access to yesterday. I contacted a couple farmers this summer and I was really trying to find a couple new hunting spots closer to home and uh, luckily this one called me back. Should be a fun season chasing some new deer on this spot and I'm excited to take you guys along. Well guys, I've been scouting now for a couple hours. Uh, I just have my GoPro on me now. I drove around the section and found this cool spot. Uh, so here's a tree I like right behind me. Uh, it's a really cool spot. This is a perfect tree to put a stand in, nice and tall and uh, skinny. Could have pretty good cover up there, but that that is west right there. So this is a big hay meadow out here. My thought is to blow my wind out there with a northeast wind. Then there's a draw that comes from this direction and a draw that comes from this direction and uh, they both meet right here in this pinch so there's a little bit of a ditch that comes from over there then this ditch right here that you can see and there's a dike in between them so there's trails on top of the dike going down across the creek and there's trails coming across all over right down in here so uh most of them set up for a 15 to 20 yard shot it's a cool spot this direction, which is where they think the deer will be headed on a morning hunt. That is all just thick, a huge, thick, nasty block of timber. So uh, I think it'd be, it's gonna be a pretty good spot. I did bump a lot of deer today, uh, which stinks, but I had to get in here and get this spot figured out. Two of them were pretty good looking bucks. They just caught a flash of the timber, but they looked like good bucks. So that's a good sign to know there's some in here. And I'm excited to see what this property has to offer for the coming season, so stay tuned.